The Culture Collective Podcast. Man, we have a really special guest this week. It's Cody, right? No, it's you. <laughs> I've been on like a fucking month, man. <laughs> uh, so long. You were going to family it's dinners in two shit? episodes. Uh, yeah, it's been a little bit, but it feels anyways, longer. We told you guys last week that we were going to have a guest, and on a real note, but there was some scheduling issues. So next week, next <laughs> week. Will uh, sexy next week we'll have Sassy a guest change. and uh, so you know never never worry but anyways how you guys doing doing all right yeah everybody's doing good yeah no crises no no not that I know of okay you know what we should watch I feel like this would be a perfect time to just kick back and just react to something yeah yeah. Um, no, we haven't done that in a while. We haven't done it in a while, and you know what? Oh. It's a late night episode. We're all relaxing. Uh, John McAfee, remember I was going to show you oh, that. I'm down. I'm yeah, down. <laughs> this guy. We should watch that one right there. Uh, is it just like uh, I've, it? I've never watched it? It just sounds funny, dude. I don't want the to put random Kermit? stuff on because we could get copyright striked, and then it like. I'm just saying, end. it's going to be funny though. Yeah, but I'm never it's not going to be funny, funny if it can't be. I'm in the not episode, saying though. we have to actually watch it right oh. now. Oh, okay. I thought you were saying like play it right now. I'm saying no. we have to watch it right now. What the <laughs> fuck? Well, no. then fucking watch it. No. God, Cameron comes back on the pod within two minutes. We're arguing. <laughs> fucking hell. <laughs> Infowars. What a. Uh, oh, what was the it? The water's turning the frogs gay. Oh, they had a thing on the news. Choke about me, Joe. Alex Jones getting in trouble or something like that. Uh, he got sued for defamation by the parents of the kids from the sandy hook shooting just now wait that just happened not just now but i don't know uh, you just heard alex jones got in trouble i'm saying that's one thing he's gotten in trouble oh like it just I but just like saw did today. he just get did that just because the sandy I, hook thing was like years ago yeah i don't i don't think it wow. was too long ago man i'm pretty sure it was pretty recent the sandy hook thing that he got sued for defamation. Oh, they got sued. No, that's my. That's what I'm saying. It's just weird that now, years later, we're just now. Well, like, lawsuits take a long time. To yeah, it's crazy. It's just weird to think after all these years, this has all just been like all the litigations just been happening. I mean, he has been saying, wasn't he saying it was like a <laughs> hoax or something for like fucking five years? Yeah, he said like it was oh, like a false flag or something. You know and what? It he, might have like, been. Said he might have. He might have recently like gone beyond that and started targeting like the actual people in it. It was something like, for these the capital people attacks. Are liars. Well, there was. Oh, it was. That's what it was. Was it? Roger Stone. Oh, guys, this is Roger live from Stone. the Guardian. Roger Stone and Alex Jones among five to receive capital tax subpoenas. Oh, what was he subpoenaed for? That's the thing. Was he subpoenaed for inciting it? Because I, mean, um, I mean, that seems like something he would yeah. do. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, he was like, we need to storm the Capitol building. And then they're like, still let's the fucking do it, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> the subpoenas demanding documents and testimony expand the select committee's inquiry focused on the planning and financing of the rally at the Ellipse. <sighs> so maybe they think he had something... I'm, you guys wanted me to. What? <laughs> Why am I? Gonna, you always pulling up the boring shit, Dale. You pull. Oh, I well, fucking let's watch hate the you video guys. that me and Cody want to watch. <laughs> well, let me see if I can find it, motherfucker. <laughs> did you guys watch? So did I show you guys this yet? <laughs> Dude, don't, is, don't make me turn this podcast around. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know, everybody. You know, I think everybody thinks. You know, we're gonna have a good old time this episode. We're gonna laugh and joke. We're, oh, we're, we're supposed laughing. To, me we and were, Cameron having a good time. We were supposed to have a guest, and we don't have a guest, and now we're just gonna get jiggy with it and yeah, just we kind of, you know, we were gonna have legit mixed drinks, and now bit. we have Jack and Coke bottled stuff. We're down bad. Yeah. But anyways, so <laughs> have you guys seen this video? Which like, one? The one that the cursor's on. Which one's that? The metal one. I don't see. It. Oh, I've seen this one. Okay, but I've, <laughs> have you fucking seen it or have you not? That's what I'm trying to ask. Well, I'm you. trying to think. Is it the one that you showed us before or? Uh, just fucking play it either way. Because there was a couple things I was going to show you. They can hear this, right? Yeah, they'll be able to. There was a couple things I was going to show you. There was this, which was just a funny video that McAfee himself made. Hi, I'm and Joey. Then, oh, you know what? No, this isn't what I was going to show you. I was going to show you the thing about his life. Okay. Well, we should still watch wah, this. Wah, wah. Yeah, this will be actually a good like introduction to his personality because he made this video. Oh. Still have it muted. Oh yeah. You know what? Send 
You did show us this. Oh, I did? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Isn't it when like when all the girls walk up to him? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's like the sketch that he yeah. made about... Oh, okay. I'll pull up then. I want to say it was Jake Tran. I don't know if you guys have seen this guy, Jake Tran. What's his pronouns? Uh, He... <laughs> don't assume. You Don't tuber? assume it. <laughs> Oh my god. What? I saw this <laughs> I saw this TikTok this dude uh made it's a black dude and he made a uh an intro for one of his classes. Mm -hmm. He was like, I'm buh, my I'm, my name's buh, buh, my pronouns are dat N word. Oh my god. <laughs> and his teacher made him take it down. <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> oh that shit oh my god. I was rolling on the ground laughing watching that. It was so funny. I want to say... I wish I could see that. You rolling on the ground. I have a video of Cody rolling on the ground. Can I see it? I, I want to say this is the video I was thinking of, but it could entirely not be. Where are they taking you, John? To jail. I mean, Cut it! Why do they have this song in there? Motherfucker, dude. <laughs> what? Fuck me, man. <laughs> Wait, is that public domain? Is that what that said? What? Wait, oh no, never mind. It's I Johnny it, Cash. It's not fucking public domain. No, 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 but it said writers. I thought it said license two. I was going to say, if this song's public domain, that is sick, but. uh, <laughs> No way. Well, there goes this. No, no, we can we can watch this one. Well, can Jake we just like sing over it. This is John McAfee, no. the eccentric tech millionaire, playboy, suspected murderer, international fugitive, presidential candidate, crypto enthusiast, and the same man behind that annoying software called McAfee Antivirus that you probably have installed on your computer right now if you have Windows. And got the urban dictionary definition for McAfee. McAfee, a barely passable virus scanning program that updates at the worst possible times. So Tends true. to render your computer completely useless whenever it starts an update, which it doesn't ask to start and you cannot cancel or pause. Leading up to his apparent taking of his own life, John lived a wild existence, to put it nicely. You're really quite different. <laughs> Hello there. And I do what I want. I love that the video, or sorry, the pictures where he's with these girls, some of them are part of that sketch, and some of them are some legitimately just, legit, just him. Yeah. And you can't tell which one is which, because the character he played in the sketch is also just him playing a, right. like a caricature of himself. You know what I mean? <laughs> a true enigma. When I want. Yeah, he, they'll get into it, but yeah, he like Wait, Are we moved. gonna watch this whole 20 minute video? Do you want to? Not really. No. Oh, okay. Never mind. <laughs> I, I was going to... No, no, no. We can watch some of it. I'm just saying oh. we don't need to watch all 20 minutes. Oh. We can skip through the highlights. Oh, well, I don't have, like, timestamps. You know what I mean? <sighs> God, Dale. Do you even prepare for this shit? No, I only edit the shit, then make the thumbnails and post <laughs> I it. I feel like if we're going to yeah, look at... A, dip it up. <laughs> I feel like off. if we're going to look at a John McAfee video, we look at, like, John McAfee, like, funny moments. Well, there's one right. that's a great like three part story about his life that goes into like the crazy shit. It goes into All right, that's like cool for our own personal time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it'd be cool for a reaction thing. I just it's like tough to get time to record. Maybe you know what I mean. Just do that next week. Well, if you guys have time, I mean, it's up to you. Instead yeah. of doing the uh, real bros. Oh, actually, fuck. I don't know if we'll be able to I don't next week. I think we're gonna do because we'll real have. Bros uh, a guest on. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. If we ever have time, we'll uh, do it. If they ever stopped copy striking our shit every time we tried to post it, maybe we could do some real bros. Yeah, I think if we did just the audio, it could work. But then it's like, it doesn't. Then it's lame. Well, yeah, it's not the full experience without the there's video. There's got to be a way around it because fucking people do it all the time. Uh, Reactions. Like, yeah, to... reaction with the video and the sound on it. Well, I think it's because we did like the whole episode and it was like. I don't know. I'm not really sure, but um, we might have not talked enough over it. Maybe, and because it had to be the video part, because when we uh, when we did it with the, the us big and that minimized, yeah, it didn't get it right. Uh, I thought it did. I'm trying to remember because no, we did cause the we audio for it, sure. We, we posted it with the video, then it got copyright strike, so we had mm -hmm. to post it with just the audio. But we definitely watched it before. Yeah, yeah, but I think we just had the audio playing before. Mm -hmm. I want to say. I think it was when we included the video, but because it just depends who owns it, if they want to, you know, go after it. I don't remember if it got struck after it went up or not. I want to say it was the algorithm that caught it. The fucking algorithm. Yeah, I don't know. So you should just message someone that has a reaction like channel. Yeah. It How just, you do this? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I'll have to look into Help it. Me. Cause Hit me. Hit it, me, please. Yeah, I'll have to look into it because I don't know if there's a way to just post it 
two and just risk it. But if there is, I kind of don't want to do that because then we get like a channel strike if they want to go after it. But like, I don't know. I'll yeah. have to look into that. Yeah. So I don't know. I'll probably research it, see what I can find. Um. So what's up? What a. Oh, my God. Fucking. You guys hear about Young Dolph? Yeah. Yeah. Dude. So you hear about this? What is it about? He got killed. Oh, yeah. He yeah. Shot. Oh, yeah, dude, which yeah. is crazy because like it he's been famous now for like a while, just living like a regular life. I was listening to his music today. Yeah, he's a guy and he actually seemed like a pretty decent dude. Like, you know what I, I, mean? I guess uh, a bunch of the people that ran with him that they, because they're doing still a thing is like for Thanksgiving, they were handing out food and stuff mm-hmm. and they're doing it in his name. So that was really cool. Yeah. It's so sad. Did they man. like release like why the people did it or no? Nah, because I don't sure think they was, even know who did it. Is it something like gang affiliated? I don't. Is he, I mean, he was in his hometown, so it could have been anyone. Like that's right. the tough thing. Like he's in Memphis, which is already like one of the most dangerous cities in the country, yeah. and it's his hometown. So it's like there's a million different people that would have wanted him dead for different reasons. So it's like right. Yeah, it's hard to say, man. Once they find the people, if they do, then you know we might get more info. But as far as I know, they haven't found the. Uh, the suspects, bro. Yeah. So how it's many like, fucking rappers are we gonna lose this shit? Well, it's crazy too with him because he's like been rapping now for a while, and like, yeah, there was that one time when like his SUV got shot up, but for the most part, he's been living a pretty like normal life now. Yeah, it's not like Pop Smoke. It's like, oh, it was like a year like yeah. in the mainstream, and then it's like, yeah, like that. As sad as it was, like even the circumstances though were weird. But like, if Pop Smoke died in Brooklyn. You'd be like, that's sad, but he was still close to like all the shit he grew up around. Right. Mm-hmm. But Young Dolph has been famous now for a while, but like they always say, like, leave your whenever, like with all rappers, they always say, like, don't stay in your hometown. You will die. Right. Like, <laughs> it's so sad too, because the cookie shop that he was buying, because he was just buying cookies. And he posted like this Instagram video like a week before where he said that whenever he's uh back at his hometown, like in Memphis. That he always stops by this cookie shop. It's just like some family run place. And he just loves loves the cookies. And it's really nice there and stuff. And like he posted that video a week later. He went there, got cookies, got killed. Damn. Fuck. Yeah. So it's really sad. Can't but. even can't even be out here trying to freaking endorse like family run businesses yeah. anymore. So sad. Because then you get shot for it. It's like, crazy, fuck. man. Not for it, but you know. Mm-hmm. But They're yeah. Like, oh, that's where this motherfucker's gonna be? Yeah, Got it. that's the shitty thing is, you know, they saw that video and were like, well, OK, <laughs> like, right, I next guess time you in Memphis. Guess where we hanging out? Yeah, exactly. So I haven't sucks. heard. Uh, it's horrible. I haven't heard too much details about it, so I don't know. I don't think they found the suspects for sure. But I also think like it doesn't sound like there's a lot of info um, about it. It was just like people pulled up in a car, you know, shot up the place left like. I haven't really heard much more details, yeah. but who knows? Oh, did you hear about that shit that went down in Michigan? The Christmas parade? Or, or? No, sorry, Wisconsin. Yeah, the Christmas parade. Yeah. I guess that was guy was like a local like rapper really? or whatever from the area. That's what I heard. What I happened? don't know. So this guy... Um, Didn't he drive like his car through the parade? Yeah, he drove his car through a Christmas parade that was happening in the town and like ran over a bunch of people. Oh my God. There's a video of it. Maybe he's just pissed that they're having a Christmas parade well, in November. So I don't know all the facts. Like I know they came out with like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. That's... <laughs> I know they came out with his name and shit. I don't want to say it wrong. Cause like, obviously I don't want to say it like a wrong name and like someone look it up and be like this piece of shit. And it wasn't that guy. Oh, right. So I, I think they came out with his name. But uh, he was released like two days ago on on bail mm-hmm. for a charge. And he's like has a criminal record back from like 2004. Oh, interesting. And has had like a consistent criminal record since then. Oh, wow. Damn. And like he got let out on bail and his bail was only like a thousand bucks. Wow, that's crazy. Because <laughs> I guess uh, the Milwaukee, the Milwaukee area is one of the places that have uh, like done the you know the law they were trying to pass in California where it was like taking away bail and like basically giving them like really cheap bail because it's like discriminatory to poor people or whatever. Yeah. Oh right. They passed that in Milwaukee, so he's <laughs> literally been like had a criminal record and gets out on like hundred dollar bail and shit. Right. Fuck. And then was was on bail. Still, the charges were pending, and I guess he either I know he was like apparently he was fleeing like 
a stabbing incident. I don't know if he was the guy that did the stabbing or what the fuck happened. Wait, like when he like ran the people over? He he was the reason he was driving in his car is he was driving away from a stabbing incident. Oh, I don't know. Damn. I don't know if he was the one that did the stabbing or what, but the police were chasing him and he ran rammed through the barriers and then was on the parade trail for like three blocks. Oh, shit. And then rammed into the crowd. Jeez. So it seems like it was kind of on purpose. That's crazy. Because it was like. You, you not only did you ram through the barricades, but you followed the parade trail for three blocks. Wow. You ran over like this, like little girls, like choir group. Oh, wow. This old, like old, like grandmother's dancing troupe and stuff. Oh, like ran over a bunch of people and they arrested him and stuff. And yeah, it was yeah, like, they're charging him with hom- homicide. Yeah. It's freaking crazy, dude. Where was this again? In, In Wisconsin. Uh, Wisconsin. Wow. The, I don't, I, I read the name. I don't fucking know how to that say was, it. That's crazy. The name of the town. Yeah, it's Waukesha, it. Waukesha, Wisconsin or something. I don't know. But yeah, that's just fucked up. And I guess he was like, a, I guess he's like a local rapper. Oh, man. Yeah. Well, that, I'm that, that, they say of, local That's where rapper. he started and that's where he left. He's got to have some sort of mental issues because like, you know, I mean, that's you, like if I mean, you're driving had, through a whole crowd. He has had a criminal record since like 2005. So yeah, but makes sense. There's like. Yeah, but that's not to say anybody Darryl who commits Brooks. a crime has mental issues. Yeah, Daryl Brooks, and I think it's Junior, right? Uh, it doesn't say Junior. No, I don't know. Daryl Brooks, though. Yeah, and they, they were that's saying crazy. they weren't ruling it out as uh, domestic terrorism, but mm-hmm. I don't know. I kind of doubt it. Yeah. If I mean, it's if true, you go if that long down the street, then... If it's true that, it, that he was, like, fleeing a knife incident and he's like a criminal he might just be like fuck it like i kind of doubt that it was because usually like terrorist attacks are a lot more like premeditated well thought out than yeah i stabbed someone and then ran yeah and then i ended up running into a christmas parade (laughs) yeah but that's the shitty thing it's like and i i don't i don't know they were trying to like i don't know some media places were trying to tie it to like oh he supported blm and he actively was against the written house i'm like i'm like i don't think it's like related (laughs) Yeah. Pretty sure this guy's just fucking crazy and decided yeah. to drive into a crowd of people. <laughs> yeah. Because like if you're like, oh, written house, I'm gonna drive into a Christmas parade. Like that doesn't make any sense. Is yeah. there some shit going down in Oregon right now? Or there's like, fucking always shit going down. Like in Oregon. about the trial. Like there. I'm sure in Portland there probably is. I, I thought I saw something where like they're having riots again. They they were having some stuff. I think some stuff was happening in uh Wisconsin, but they have the they have the fucking National Guard there, so oh, they can't. Really I think that's that what much. it was then. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that, that now like it's like they because I, I guess leading up to the trial they were threatening like it's fucking Kenosha all over again if we if we get the wrong verdict. But then this time they're like, nah, motherfucker. This time we got National Guard here. So if you want to do that, <laughs> like let's do it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's Man. no way that fucker's staying at his house right now. <laughs> no. Fuck no, <laughs> but uh, I guess he did a he did an interview on Tucker Carlson on Fox News. I guess it's the first time he did like a live interview since it. Yeah, and I guess uh, he did an interview, but basically like recapping the whole night from his perspective and all that. Yeah, but I guess uh, he's it like he he had to give a vague answer because it's like obviously his lawyers and stuff. Mm-hmm. But it seems like he's gonna like sue the shit out of a bunch of I would. companies. Oh, interesting. <laughs> yeah, for defamation. Yeah, because it's like <laughs> now you're proved in a court of law that you were legal and like you got a bunch of like you have a bunch of film of like people calling you a white supremacist and yeah it's like the same kid that got in trouble in uh, dc yeah nick sandman yeah yeah they, they brought him on they're like he's like yeah they made a lot of like similar claims that they did to me and he's like cleaned up like <laughs> i saw this meme it was like uh it was nick sandman and kyle rittenhouse deciding who gets 51 percent of cnn and who gets 49 percent because they own them now i was like oh damn <laughs> And I was like, and there was like, they were talking about he might even sue uh, Joe Biden, like personally, no. because when he was running for election, he mm-hmm. called him like he put out a campaign ad where he like called him a white supremacist and all that. Huh. It's like, we have white supremacists in Kenosha. And it just flashed for the Kenosha. They just flashed a picture of Kyle Jesus. House. Oh, <laughs> this is oh. when he was running for president. Crazy. I was like, I didn't even know that. And then I saw it and I was like, oh, so he just called. Oh, oh, that's not good. <laughs> then like all the facts from the case came out. You're like, oh, <laughs> like they said he was a part of a militia group or anything. And he was like, I didn't even know what a militia was until after they said that. And I looked it up. Mm. I was like, ooh, yeah, he's going to get a lot. I don't like I don't think if he wanted to, I don't think he'd have to work the rest of his life because you see the video paid. where they, the lawyer is like, so do you play a uh, Call of Duty? 
<laughs> like, oh well, my I, was, God. I, was, I was following the trial the just because I'm like, him if you played card? Dude, yeah. he was like, because there was his friend Dominic Black. He's like, you'd spend the night at Dominic Black's house. You would hang out. He's like, yeah. Would you, would you play uh, first person shooter games? He was like, sometimes. He was like, would you play Call of Duty? He's like, sometimes. And he's like, and what's what's the point of the game? He's like, well, it's a two player game. You're playing together. He's like, isn't the the point of this game to shoot? And kill everyone else with AR-15 style weapons. He's like, I mean, in the video game, it's not real life. <laughs> and he was like, I was like, what the fuck? That's weird. I, I heard know. the prosecutor was like just really dumb. But he was. Yeah, it was not good. It yeah. Was, like his closing argument made a completely different argument from his actual case because he <laughs> he literally all the uh the people he brought as prosecutor witnesses ended up being defense witnesses. Like, uh -oh. like the main witness they had was Gage Grosskreutz. Mm -hmm. And when the defense cross-examined him, he was like, they basically got him to admit that uh, Kyle didn't shoot him until he point, until <laughs> that guy Gage pointed a gun at him. Oh yeah. I heard about that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, well, wait, so that happened. There when goes the, your case. So wait, that happened when the prosecution was questioning him. No, no, no. That happened. The prosecutor called the witness, but it, that didn't come up till the defense cross-examined them. Oh, interesting. But yeah, Weird. obviously not great. Yeah, I heard the prosecution <laughs> was pretty weak, but like I was wasn't bad. actually watching it. Was it was really so. bad. Like, yeah. and then he, uh, you know, like the fifth, you have your fifth amendment, right? Like you don't have to talk. Oh, yeah, yeah. He tried to bring up uh, Rittenhouse's fifth amendment silence after he got arrested as an admission of guilt. Oh, that's <laughs> Dude, not a good there's strategy. A, yeah, there's a video of the judge just like absolutely like screaming and just reaming into him. Yeah. Like that's been case law in the U.S. for 60 years. Bro. I'm like, <laughs> oh, I'm like, I don't I'm not a lawyer or anything. I don't know how all this works, but I'm guessing if the judge is like yelling at you for something you're doing wrong, it's you're not good. Probably not winning the case. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Weird. Yeah. What a weird one. It's just crazy because it's like I would watch the case the case like because it was like all like on the news like live coverage and stuff yeah so i'd be watching it and then i'd watch like news coverage of it like not on on the actual news like mm -hmm. just watch youtube clips and they'd be like these are the facts of the case and i'm like and the facts they were like giving on like news networks were like different from the uh, facts yeah. that i was seeing in the case i'm like hmm. that's not right <laughs> like i just want like because there's still people saying that like oh he could brought a gun across state lines i'm like Literally the first day of the trial, the judge threw out that charge because it's just not true. Oh. And weird. then people are still saying he was illegally carrying the gun. And that that charge didn't was he was found not guilty on that. Because mm -hmm. I guess the law was for Wisconsin, it's like it's illegal for a minor to carry a weapon if it's a short, short barrel uh shotgun or a short barrel rifle. Oh. And his the AR fifteen he was carrying wasn't a short barrel. Oh, it was longer than 16 inches mm -hmm. and the whole thing mm -hmm. was longer than 26. Mm -hmm. So it was actually legal for him to be carrying it. Huh. So like the main arguments everyone made, like the first day of court was like, yeah, no, <laughs> like that's not so true. So he didn't bring it across borders. He didn't No, It was, it stayed in Kenosha the whole time. And like when they Ooh. say cross borders, he lived in Antioch, mm -hmm. which is literally like 20 minutes from Kenosha where he works. Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> so like his dad lives in Kenosha and oh, so it was his, but he lived in the state. That's what was well, so he lives, he works in Kenosha, mm -hmm. but lives in Illinois, but oh. they're literally like, you know, like if this is the state line, there's like Antioch where he lives is right here. And then yeah. Kenosha is like right here, just right across. So when they say like went across state lines, you're thinking like, oh, he drove across the state to go but to another really, state. He just went from like Waterford really, to Modesto. Exactly. He drove like 15 minutes and he didn't even. So like it did go across the no, or no? He, he, the gun was at his dad's the house. The gun was at his dad's house. Oh, but that's not the house in Illinois. No. no, that's his dad lives in Kenosha. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. And then also they were saying he went across from state lines to go to the protest, but actually he got off work the night before in Kenosha mm. and they already had instituted the cur curfew. Oh, interesting. So he spent the night at one of his friends' house that lives in Kenosha. And then the next day he went straight from there to like the high school where he washed the graffiti off mm. and then straight to the, and then he like got the gun at his dad's house and went to the car lot to protect it. So like the day of, he didn't go from Illinois to, uh, or not Illinois, I don't know, whatever the state is. Yeah, he didn't yeah. go from that state to Wisconsin. He was in Wisconsin the whole day. The gun was always in Wisconsin. Oh, He oh, was carrying yeah. it legally. So like all, all the arguments that were like, well, even though in it might be self-defense, he was carrying it illegally. So, and then it's like, oh, he wasn't. And then he's like, <laughs> 
well, he crossed state lines and he just wanted to shoot people. Like, actually, he spent the night the day before. Like, the, <laughs> lo- the whole day before this, he was just, like, cleaning graffiti and giving people medical aid. <laughs> They're like, well, he's a racist. It's like, well, everyone he shot was white. I'm like, <laughs> like, everything they were throwing is just like, nope. I'm like, ooh. And I didn't even know what happened. I thought until I saw the trial that the guys he shot were black. Because, mm-hmm. like, that's what the media was saying. And I was just like, oh. And then, and then it gets there. It's like. Rosen, Rosenbaum and I'm like this is the palest ginger I've ever seen and the other two dudes were also like super white I was like what is happening I thought they were all black like I thought they were calling him white supremacist and he shot black people I forgot what was even going on at the protest or whatever it was right after the uh this I don't remember what the guy's name was it was a black dude he was holding a knife and uh the police shot him in the back because like he turned around like I don't know they, they told him to drop the knife and he was resisting and I don't know. I think he was trying to get in a car to like, I think his kids were in a car and he's trying to get in the car to like kidnap his kids or some shit. Oh. I'm, don't quote me on that. Oh, but like yeah. basically that happened. They were like a, the media was saying like, oh, it was unjustified. They shot an unarmed black man, blah, blah, blah. And then they basically caused riots. And then the governor of uh, Wisconsin was like, we're not letting National Guard in. So then the police were like, well, there's too much happening for us to be able to uh, do yeah. anything. So they didn't do anything. So everyone was rioting. They basically <laughs> burned down the city. So then the second night, <laughs> Kyle with like a bunch of other people mm. asked uh this these this guy that owned a bunch of car lots in the area. He's like, Do you want us to like help you protect them so it doesn't your business doesn't get burned down? And they said yes. He was giving like medical aid and stuff. And then uh the earlier that night, um, I guess the first guy he shot, Joseph Rosenbaum, who is apparently a convicted pedophile on like yeah. five counts, and the main count was he uh anally raped a nine year old. A nine-year-old boy. I'm like, the fact that anyone was defending that dude. I'm uh, like, yeah. But anyways, I guess earlier that night, he said, if I find any of you guys alone, I'm going to kill you. And then later that night, like Kyle was like running around like, hey, does anyone need medical? Blah, blah, blah. And then uh, that guy started chasing him. He ran away. And then once he tried to grab his gun, then he shot him, like shot him four times, came back around to try to give him medical assistance and then a whole mob formed and like started saying like, get him, kill him. So he started running away and then like people were like hitting him and throwing rocks at him and then knocked him down. The first two that came at him like jumped and like kicked him. I don't know if you've seen the video, but he like jumped up and kicked him. That was the only guy he shot at that he didn't hit. And it's funny because there was four people that he shot at. Three of them were white. That dude was black. The prosecutor didn't bring him to the <laughs> I think it was because he said like out of all of them he had like the longest criminal record and like I don't know why they didn't want I don't know but like it was ironic because like he's racist like he shot at four people the only one he didn't kill was black oh, yeah and then, so that guy hit him then he shot at him missed that guy ran away then Anthony Huber I think was his name he had a skateboard and like hit him in the back of the head twice and then he went to go hit him again and Kyle turned around and shot him. And he also tried to grab his gun, Fuck. but he was wearing like a sling. So it like really tight to him. And then he shot him uh, once or twice, I think. And then he went over, like walked like 10 feet away and then ended up like dying. So did he kill three people or? He shot three, killed two. Mm. Um, and then the, the third guy, Gage Gross Scroots or whatever his name is, he was the guy that lived. So he had a gun in his hand. And uh, he was near him and Kyle pointed his gun at him and he put his hands up. So then Kyle like put his gun and aimed it down. And then uh, uh, I guess the guy charged him and started like brought his hands down and charged him and aimed the pistol at him. Mm -hmm. So Kyle raised his gun and shot him and like blew his bicep off basically. And that guy like ran away. So he stopped shooting him. Then he ran like the police and then he ended up. He tried to turn himself into the police, Mm -hmm. but he couldn't turn himself into the Kenosha police because well, they were basically like their whole like precinct was like walled off and everything because yeah, yeah. of the riots. So then he went to the nearest police station, which was in Antioch, where he lived, which was across state lines. <laughs> and then they tried to say like he tried to run across state borders <laughs> to like run away, even though that was the closest precinct he could turn himself in at. <laughs> I was like, and this was crazy because like up until the trial, like I just like thought it was like, oh, he like shot people because he was like from the opposite political view or whatever and then i watched the trial i'm like oh that's not what happened at all this is not good (laughs) Hmm. interesting it's crazy too because like now i hear like a lot of people still don't even know that uh the guy shot gage grossing the guy that lived 
most people don't even know that he had a gun. <laughs> Mm -hmm. they're like yeah he thought he shot three unarmed dudes i'm like what no. like the first guy was chasing him with a chain mm -hmm. <laughs> and was a pedophile the um and threatened to kill him earlier that night the second guy whacked him in the head with a skateboard twice and then tried to steal his gun and then he shot him and then the third guy aimed a gun aimed a pistol at him which he had the guy that had the pistol it was illegal. Like he, he was not supposed to be able to have a pistol, but they didn't talk about that. Yeah. So, uh, so then he shot him. Like all three of the people he, he shot were actively trying to attack and harm him, yeah. like, and possibly kill him. Like, it's not the story I heard on the news, <laughs> like at all. Hmm. Interesting. It's crazy. Do, uh, Get Oh, what's up, Alec? So I totally forgot you were coming back here. Do you have anything you want to say to the people? Um, don't drink and drive. Stay safe during this holiday week. That's wow. a good message. Wise words from Alex. Yeah. Pretty, pretty wholesome. Pretty I wholesome. keep forgetting Thanksgiving this week. Yeah. It Doesn't just seems it like, like it went it, right? so fast. Right. Yeah. Well, because thanks or November. Or people are also goes. already celebrating Christmas. So. Yeah. Yeah. You can grab my Alec. You can grab my office chair out of, out of that to sit in. No, make him sit on the floor. Oh, right. watch your foot. Wasn't there something you were going to say about falling at the bowling alley? I was kind of hoping you'd forget about that. <laughs> <laughs> you told me to remember. Uh, yeah, but you weren't supposed to. Well, I did. Well, we went bowling. I think, what was it? This was like two weeks ago. Yeah, two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. And then me and Caden decided to go to the store, come back, and then drink four loco. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then I didn't realize it was going to fuck me up that bad. You didn't learn from my mistakes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then I'm just bowling and bowling, you know, all of a sudden I'm like, oh, fuck. And then Ethan calls me, so I get up and I run out of the place. Mm -hmm. And as I'm running, I still have the bowling shoes on. Stand up, running. And then the worker can come towards me with the trash can. I try to do a little like that. And my feet just slip. <laughs> I fucking eat shit. I look up. I'm like, oh, God, no one saw that. And then I ran outside, came back, and Becca was laughing. <laughs> she saw the whole thing. <laughs> the amount of times I've seen you, like, injure yourself is worrying. <laughs> you know, for, like, your future when you're old and frail. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Maybe it's going to be the opposite when I get old. You'll get way more coordinated? Yeah, I'm not going to be clumsy. The rest of us are going to just be like, yeah, and just falling. <laughs> be laughing at you guys. Yeah, I mean, We're gonna it could be the people from the commercials. You know, I've fallen and I can't get up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Life <laughs> alert. Meanwhile, well, I'm telling you, when I fell, I got up so fucking fast. Just for the embarrassment. I got up hella quick. I'm like, oh, thank God no one saw that but the yeah. guy in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing sobers you up like some good embarrassment. Yeah. <laughs> Man. You really should get a life alert. Do they still have those? Yeah. I'm sure. They're going to go uh, out because they run on 3G. And since in the next year, everything's going to be run on 4 or 5G, they're going to be like kind of obsolete. Oh, interesting. Damn. Enter huh. So if grandma's about to die... Fuck you. <laughs> they should have like a life alert. Fuck you, grandma. Um, they should have like a life alert, but whenever you hit it, it just uh you know, for like alcoholics, it just delivers liquor to your house. <laughs> and so like, you know, when you're just yeah, blocking out Amazon kinda has something like that. Yeah. You know, it, a little, little to go or like they have like little buttons, you click it and it orders it for you. Oh, do you just do it instantly? Yeah. Yeah, that'd be oh, great. Cause when that'd you're... be dangerous to put in my house. <laughs> <laughs> I'd run out of money real quick. Yeah. <laughs> What happened to your rent money? Oh, uh, you see those five bottles of whiskey in there? That's what happened. <laughs> yep, brother. Why a lot put, of whiskey, brother. Why do they put McClellan's on there? That's Dude, not fair. The worst thing about Amazon is the a little subscription things you could do. For like, you could add like a subscription for Yeah, and you anything. buy it every three months. Yeah. yeah, I did that with this thing I used for my face, and I, I didn't realize I did it for every month. There's at one point I had fucking six of those in my room. <laughs> oh my god! Christ! <laughs> so, yeah, it's done. Jesus Can't Christ! Play. Jesus! <laughs> have Jesus you seen Christ. Have you seen those videos? The dude that's like, it's like a fucking, like a hood guy, like a street dude, but he's like aggressively preaches about Jesus. No. He goes up to people. He's like. Jesus Christ! I love him. I'm like, oh my! It's like that guy that always sits on Briggs more. Uh, yeah, with the, the Bible. with the megaphone. <laughs> hmm. He's always sitting there with the megaphone and the Bible, just reading it. Interesting. I haven't <laughs> seen this. 
But I don't really go into Modesto too much. It's like every every time I drive by him and he's doing it, I just give him a thumbs up. I just blast my heavy metal. Yeah. (laughs) You draw, you know, put up the pentagram real quick. Like I don't even hear what he's saying. He just (laughs) I don't even hear what he's actually saying. It just seems like he's so into it and he's so dedicated because it's like I see him there like a lot, like Mm -hmm. every week. Yeah. I'm just like, you know what? I don't know what you're saying. I don't know. I can't hear it because my music's on, but like I'm gonna give you a thumbs up because I like the dedication. Wonder if that guy still hangs out in Turlock, the one that always used to hang out in that one area, and you have the sign uh, asking for a beer. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I haven't seen that guy in a while. There's a bunch. Do you of see the that... guy with the blue beard? He's like, uh, said he always has a sign that's saying, "I bet you can't hit me with your quarters." Yeah, I've seen that guy. <laughs> wow, <laughs> man, that's just funny. Have you guys ever been to Vegas? No. no. Well, actually, yeah. Yeah. Did you ever like get accosted by the people like forced trying to get you to buy their mixtape? <laughs> no. No. To me in at San the Diego. Ta- well, to be fair, at the time I was like 13. We were going there for like my sister's like comp cheer thing. Yeah. And we literally went there, like parked at like the stadium to do it, went in there and like went straight to the hotel. Oh, so you didn't so, like, like you we didn't like, go around because I was only 13. So like right. my mom went and gambled, but well, like we I, were just like, I, I went when I was like 13 or 14 and we like hit the strip and everything. But my God, dude, I had to tell so many of these guys to piss off because they want to give you their mixtape. And then after you have it in your hand, they're like, well, that's $20. <laughs> You're like, dude, fuck off. Some fuckers tried doing like, that who, to us in San Diego. Yeah. I'm like, who do you think you are? Kendrick, are Kendrick address- Lamar, bro? <laughs> like, what? I'm not giving as- you $20 for a CD mixtape. No. Are they as aggressive as the homeless dudes in San Francisco that want to suck your dick for $5? I'll be honest. I've never been accosted by San Francisco homeless people. I haven't either. Yeah. I did. I was only 12. Besides the guy that told me he could give me a free COVID shot under the bridge. Sick. So you said yeah? Yeah, I said yeah, and it was cool. I didn't think the COVID shot would give you a weird trip like that. Was it J&J? I think so. That makes sense. (laughs) (laughs) You call it a trip, I call it a blood clot. (laughs) You you call it a trip, I call it a good time. (laughs) Uh, Man, so San Francisco, that happened? Yeah. Wow, crazy. So what, he was just trying to get like, like, how did this go down? Like, we were walking through a we were walking through a park and it was like mm. not oh, in that's a, your first yeah problem right not there. in a good area mm. mind you right I said I was twelve I wasn't twelve I was young I was like sixteen mm-hmm. but yeah we were walking through a park it was me and uh, Kyle Acuna oh this is the I time was, I'm thinking of <laughs> no not oh, that it's time. not that time <laughs> okay oh <Not that time>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that story will no, go on a bonus uh, ad <laughs> yeah we can't talk about it yeah this is not a main you app gotta, you gotta tell me after this, this is not a main no, app just, story i'm pretty sure you, you'll know once i once yeah I yeah anyways walk uh, through the park yeah because we would just go there because his <laughs> his step his stepdad had a uh a membership at the olympic club mm-hmm. and we would go there and like it's a night, really nice gym. We go work out and stay there for a couple days sometimes. But anyways, we were walking through this park. We were just kind of like walking around because mm-hmm. we were like, I was sixteen, he was eighteen. Yeah, we're just like fucking around. Um, and we're walking through this like not good part of San Francisco, this mm-hmm. park. And this guy's just laying on a bench, just fucking like passed out. Not even passed out, but like half like fucking dozed off. Mm-hmm. And then we walk by. He's like, "Hey, either you two got drugs?" We were like, "I, I think he asked for a specific drug," but I was like, "I." I don't know. It was like heroin or something. I was like, oh, <laughs> fucking no. Do like, I look like I have uh, drugs? Dude, we do Xanax now. I'm sorry. <laughs> Excuse me? Heroin? Then, <laughs> we only vape. We're like, no. He's like, you guys got cash? We were like, and just like looked no. at him like, no. <laughs> and he's like, hey, man, I'll suck your dick for $5. I was like, <laughs> I was like, I'm pretty sure he was two like, and a half, and it's a deal. I'm pretty sure he was like half kidding, like not actually. Like he was like, "Come on, dude, just no. give me some money." No, you but know like, what that was? That was like when you're thinking of something and you like say it as a joke to kind of test the room. And you're like, "Ah, oh, yeah, no, 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 nah, yeah, it's a yeah, joke, it's a joke, guys." <laughs> but then if they say yeah, you're like, "Yeah, yeah, guys, yeah, let's do it." Come on. But I was like, like I was like, I was obviously like not down with it at all. Yeah, but I was like, I was sixteen, and I was like, very like, I've never been in this type of situation before. So I was just like, what? The, like in my head, I was like, what the fuck? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and Kyle was just like, fuck off, dude, you piece of shit. <laughs> like, he just walked away. I was like, what the fuck just happened? He's like, that was weird. I'm yeah, like, all right. <laughs> Man, he's like the real life version of the guy from uh, you know, that one movie, the 
I got these burgers, man. Oh, yeah. I'll suck your dick, oh. man. I'll suck your dick, man. <laughs> See, if he would have started with the burgers, maybe he would have gotten in and been like, yeah, you Bro, know, honestly, all right. If he would have gone with the burgers, he probably could have got five bucks. And then you would have been like, I don't know. I'm not that hungry, man. Like, I just got back from Denny's. And then if you move on to the dick sucking, you might be like, well, this guy seems like he has good intentions. Good intentions, you know? Yeah. This guy seems like he's going to put a little bit of love into it, at least. Right. Yeah. That's crazy, though. <laughs> Hmm. San Francisco. Yeah, weirdly, San Francisco is just so cool. Like, oh, we did have that one incident when we went to the concert. Uh, oh, I forgot <laughs> about that. That was actually so funny. That okay, was so what is weird is, is when we went to go see Parkway Drive. Yeah, we were just all standing in line. This fucking tweaker bitch was like, <laughs> it talking was, out of her mind, like speaking her own language. It was crazy because <laughs> she was speaking like fully in gibberish, and so you couldn't understand anything she was saying. But one of the ladies who was like working there, like one of the outside, you know, guard attendees or whatever was like just having a regular conversation with her. But you know what it was like? It was like when you know somebody who's Mexican and the kid speaks English to their parent and then their parent speaks Spanish back and that's like the way the conversation works. That's how this was. Because the security guard lady was speaking completely normal English to the lady who was responding <laughs> in gibberish. She's and like, they were having... She's like, ma'am, can I help you with something? <laughs> that's Okay, like, ma'am, yeah, I could do that for you. That's <laughs> literally... <laughs> That's literally almost what it was like. Like they were having like a normal conversation, except one half of it was just. She's gibberish. hanging out like right in front of the strip club. I was starting to think she's one of the strippers. Oh no, dude! She had like <laughs> I don't want to dance from her. Oh, it was bad, man. <laughs> and then she started running out on the street. I really thought she was gonna be hit by a fucking. I bar. was, dude. Me too. I was like, she's kind of getting out close to the lanes. Like, is she about to get? You know. Yeah, it, it was not like, I was like, she's trying to play Frogger right now. This is not looking good, man. Bro, how fucking dead would you have been if she ran in during the concert and she's just like, <laughs> she's play <in> Freebird. <laughs> she's in the mosh pit. <laughs> just fucking swinging. Oh my God, that'd be great. I'd kind of be like, you know what? She's cool, actually. It was weird because we were in our like kind of little circle talking and she sort of started like entering our circle. Yeah, she's like, trying to get in the circle and start <laughs> talking. I was like, I and every time she'll move in, we'll like scoot in a little yeah. bit more. Because <laughs> I was like, I just can't, I can't talk to her. She isn't even speaking a language. Right. Like you there was just, no way to. just looked at her and just scream. <laughs> yeah. <She> gained her respect. <laughs> no, just. <laughs> oh, that hurt. <laughs> <laughs> no, how funny would that? She comes into the mosh pit, she starts throwing down, and you just see fucking her mouth start foaming. Like she has rabies or something. Oh shit. god! No, That's what scary. if what if we did that? I'm just like, <laughs> I'm just like, ah! and then she's like, "Hey, man, calm down, <laughs> relax. What's wrong with you? No need to get crazy. Yeah, what ah! are you? What are you? Some sort of tweaker? <laughs> you start uh, freaking out. She's like, I remember my first trip. <laughs> oh my god." <laughs> Yeah, it was weird, man. It was weird because I was also looking at her and I was like, how do you survive? Like, like how does a person like... Lots what's, and lots of drugs. <laughs> but like, you know, it. she wasn't even capable of like talking. Like, how do you get food? You know what I mean? You can't walk into a restaurant and order something because they're not even going to know really you. really good at fighting and she beats up people for food. Maybe. No, I think happens. she just like... Wait, you so know, because like some, some people, especially in like cities, they're like, I want to have my... I want to have my... Uh, <laughs> lunch in nature at a park or some shit she just fucking runs at him just like with her mouth foamy she's like and then they run away and she's like whoa you know at first i thought like some person who can't talk from a shitty area in california like how would they survive but you know what that's just nate diaz so i mean <laughs> like, so i guess you know what now i see why she's good <laughs> you know what I'm saying, man? I just want to fight Conor McGregor. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, dude! <laughs> Bro, imagine fucking he's somehow in fucking some alternate universe. Nate Diaz saw this and he's like, "Fuck you, motherfucker, Dale <laughs> Staff, but I want to fight you." Yeah, just for the record, we're all Nate Diaz fans. It was just True. that was the first thing that popped into no, my no, no, head. No, no. Let's call him out so we get our YouTube, you know, pop. Bro, imagine bit. if he called you out to fight you, would you would you do it? You'd have to. I'd have to, but I would just get instantly knocked out. It would be worth it for the money. I don't know if it and would though. Cloud. I don't know if it'd be worth it for the brain damage just, though. As soon as the fight starts, just run towards him like this and. That's even worse. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the views would be no, good. No, no, no. I R just run kept her, running. Run at him like the tweaker from San Francisco. Maybe you'll scare him enough. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, for actually, some no, reason, he's from Stockton, so he's probably used to it. Yeah. Probably. No, I think 
Yeah, bro. Actually, he's not that far away from me. He could just cruise up to my house and just molly walk. <laughs> bro, me just start bit. fucking. Just run away the whole time. Just fucking run laps around the circle. Just I'd have to fucking force gump that bitch. I would. I just he, kept running. If he choked me out, I wouldn't care. But if I just got like head kicked, like mm, that <laughs> brain damage does not sound fun. No, so. it'd be embarrassing. You know, I wouldn't care about the embarrassment because it's like it's Nate. It's Nate Diaz. You know what I mean? It yeah. Be that embarrassing. Like, who's gonna look at it and be like, "Wow, you couldn't stand up with Nate Diaz, <laughs> bitch." <laughs> No, I don't mean look at it that way. I mean, just like, not even like the embarrassment of like, oh, you got beat up by Nate Diaz. Obviously not that, but just like everyone seeing you just get like starched on live television. Honestly, I would never stop watching. But I wouldn't even care because I'd be like, guys, it was Nate Diaz. You know what I mean? I know. But like if if like say you like for some reason, like getting introduced at like a banquet or something. And then, like, play, like, a little slideshow. I'd just play a video of you getting knocked out by Nate Diaz. <laughs> yeah. and everybody that, I would laugh, use that like, every time we introduced you for something. That's the video I would use. And I'd be like, all right, guys, you want to get in the octagon with Nate Diaz? Everybody be quiet. Like, <laughs> I wouldn't feel bad because I'd be like, it's Nate Diaz. Like, are you embarrassed if you get beat in a guitar, like, competition by Jimi Hendrix? No. Well, like, yeah. I mean, I would sucks. be because he's dead. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Well, he could probably beat me dead too. Dead, alive, doesn't matter, bro. Fucking damn, I lost to a dead guy. I fucking suck. <laughs> yeah. That means you'd have to be so bad that they would have rather heard nothing. They could just play one of his songs on Spotify, and I'd be like, "I lost. <laughs> it's over." <laughs> I can, yeah, damn, nah. Man. Or they could do this. You know what they should do? Actually, damn. You know how they did the Tupac hologram? Oh yeah. I'll, in a minute. You know how they did the Tupac? Fucking hell! I will do it. Do you want to do it? <laughs> you know how they did the Tupac hologram at uh, Coachella that That's one year? So pissed. Yeah. Um, they should do a Jimi Hendrix hologram. Yep. Because he was like known for being like a performer. He did like the teeth thing. He was yep. just dope and like that'd be that'd be a cool way to start up a festival, dude. What? Stop! Fucking stop! <laughs> God, man, I don't want to hear shit. I didn't say anything. <laughs> what is it about see Cameron <laughs> being here that just pisses you off? Dude? <laughs> You're just really getting on my nerves today. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> he has to make up for the last like. Well, it's because you're doing this fucking ET. Uh, thing I wasn't right here now. for two weeks, so I got to make up for it. No, yeah, I'm pretty sure it was fucking, twelve. Fucking weeks. making up for it, all right. Et. What does it I like uh, Reese's. Tells a bitch. Tells a bitch. Tells a bitch. Ow, mother. Fucker. I swear I didn't mean to do that. That was literally... God weird. damn it. <laughs> Who's the bitch now? <laughs> fuck. Oh, the card's Ah, oh, fuck. You fucking suck, dude. Yeah, I forgot about I'm sorry. I really didn't mean God. to do that. God. Do it again. You wear those fucking <laughs> shoes with the heels, too. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. God. <laughs> You guys couldn't see it, but I accidentally stepped on Cody's toe. Accidentally. Yeah, no shit, fucking asshole. I think it was on purpose. It wasn't intent- No, bitch. I swear it was. It. If I was For real, it was on the third Dale's a bitch. I was. I just felt a. <laughs> I'm like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> if uh, if it was intentional, I would have gone for Cameron. <laughs> True. No, don't feel bad for the people downstairs. They got a loud ass dog that the barks at me every time I try to leave. Stop, please stop. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this episode's fucking over. <laughs> All right, <laughs> bye. All right, guys. Next, so bye. sorry, sorry. This was next a bit week. Of a, we'll have the guests. Yeah, this week was a little different, but we'll have uh, a guest on next week, and we got a few other things um, planned. But you know, we'll get back to you guys later. Yeah. All right. I love you. So Peace, much. guys. Love you. So